Okay. Um, right, here's another type of float. Uh, uh, made in Thailand. Uh, quite colourful floats. And my first impression when I first looked at them, thought, oh, they're Mickey Mouse. You know, sort of thing that Noddies would use. However, uh, I found out different. One of the anglers, uh, John Harvey, uh, had a slightly bigger version of this, and he was using these floats as a slider. Obviously with bigger fish in mind, such as carp, etc. Now these type of floats, um, looking at them, they're, they're almost like a, a reverse pair with um, plastic tip. Now the, the thing about these floats as well, you can actually um, take the tips off. Let me show you. Take out the packet. Yeah. You can actually take the tips out and you can actually put an extra extension in if you want or in some cases you can even put in these um, uh, light floats these um, the ones that light up I don't use them myself often but uh, I'm sure you know what I mean uh, what I call them bigger lights are they I think so you can actually put them in the tip itself but in this case I'm not going to do that I'm actually going to show you how these work uh, and I think that these would work particularly well on a lot of venues back home uh, especially as a slide in float I just dropped that. <laughs> Thank you, Nopret. Nopret's filming this for me. <laughs> so as you see, yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to demonstrate now. Um, I've shot it when up ready. Now, it's about seven foot of water in front of me. So what I've done, I've actually just set the float at about two foot. Two swan and a small uh, number eight down. A uh, big hook, of course, because I'll be using um, a big red uh, punch. Now, if you look at the, uh, the float, I've got it sliding up the line, up to the seven foot marker, and I'm using two rubber stops. Um, now, you can buy the rubber stops. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you what they, are, what they look like. They're using for all sorts of things like ledgering and uh, float fishing. And they're quite easy to do. They've got a little loop on the end. You just put the line through and push the, uh, the rubber stop up the line. And what I've done, I've got two, uh, because one on this one will slide a little bit sometimes with casting and playing fish, but two will hold it in position. So when I cast this out, the float will slide up the line and set just like that. Now, um, it's proven to be better than a fixed waggler, believe it or not. And I'm going to show you that now. Okay, I'm using quite a large meat punch for a bread punch. Um, got my slice of bread, I put it on, uh, on my plastic container, and I'm going to punch it. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm transferring that into the hook. Okay, I'm going to double punch it. The hook. Now, you can cast this overarm or underarm, but because I'm not fishing very far out, I'm just going to cast it underarm, and you can watch how the float um, sort of uh, settles in the water. Okay? Right. As you can see, the line is sliding. The stop is now holding the float. And I got a bite almost straight away by the look of it. Bobbing around a little bit. Tells me the small fish I'm going to go. Yeah, they took the bait. <laughs> they took, I guess they took the bait then because uh, the movement of the float had stopped. So I'll double punch it again. See if I think you should have went to the kitchen today. Yeah, that's John in the background, the owner. <laughs> He's doing a spot of fishing himself. Feeder fishing. <laughs>
Mm. Yeah. On the left, left side, then. Mm. It's a nice one. What's the low only? Oh, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> okay, so that shows you the bread punch fishing with the sliding float. All right, don't reel it all the way up. That's it. Now you need the net. Hey! <laughs> well done. Same, yeah. Yeah, like a chub. Yep, no, put him on this mat. Yeah, don't put him on the grass, put him on the mat. That's it. Yeah, better. Lovely.